Europe um, cannot meddle through anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure that there is a start to think about the nations, European nations, not as an obstacle to the European project, but as a way to, to improve, to, to engage nations, which were often seen uh, as something opposite to European spirit. To have the European integration, we should suppress nations. We should maybe even dismantle nations. This is the accusation of people who are supporting federalism. And I think, and there is an example from the history, that nations cannot, don't necessarily have to work against Europe. If you look at the 19th century, 1848, the uh, European Spring, uh, the Spring of Nations, uh, was the time that liberals or national liberals in Italy, Germany, Poland, Central Europe, well, at the same time, liberals, nationalists, in the way they wanted to build national states, and very committed Europeans, they, sub they in a European spirit. And I think that today, what we have, I mean, the problem we have is that not that people who are members of certain nations, they, they are against the European project. A lot of people are actually supporting Europe. But at the same time, you've got national politicians whose incentive is different than those the respective citizens. And I'm sure that if you find a way to engage nations, that's why I'm using the word nations, not nation states, for example, through pan-European convention of all parliaments of all, each and all of uh, countries uh, in the EU. So all parliaments convene, for example, during the, uh, during the anniversary of the Treaty of Rome, which is next year, uh, in Rome, a perfect place, to convene about the future of Europe. Because the national parliaments are the representatives of the nations, right? And this is just an idea, I, I mean, but I think that this is very important that we don't see the nations and European projects as opposite. I think they can work hand in hand together. And this is the way to get out of the, of the situation that we, that we have right now. Europe is a beautiful, beautiful, fragile uh, thing that's creation that it's too beautiful to be, to be destroyed. European Union is uh, perhaps the biggest utopia that actually worked in the history of the, of the mankind and it should continue.